are uh, going to the determination of beta 1 and beta 2. So, when we are uh, determining the beta 1 and beta 2, that means we are estimating beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. This value is the estimated values of beta 1 and beta 2 respectively. So, the sum of the square of deviation or sum of the squared residuals that is sigma ui hat square. This should be kept as minimum as possible in order to find out beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. So, for this we have to follow a necessary condition with respect to this sigma ui hat square in terms of beta 1 and beta 2 and that uh, necessary condition is the first order condition. So, the necessary condition in order to determine the values of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat is that the first derivative of the function is to be kept 0. That means the first derivative of sigma ui hat square with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat should be equal to 0. This can be denoted as dou sigma ui hat square with respect to beta 1 hat is equal to 0 and dou sigma ui hat square with respect to beta 2 hat is equal to 0. So, this is the necessary condition or the first order condition in order to find out the beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. That means the sum of the square of error term with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat should be equal to 0. So, we have to take the partial derivative of sigma ui hat square with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. First, let us consider sigma ui hat square with respect to beta 1 hat. Okay. So, so this should be equal to 0. That means Okay, so this is the uh, first order condition. This should be equal to 0. That means dou sigma ui hat square. That means dou sigma ui hat square. That is ui hat is yl minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi all square. Dou sigma ui hat is substituted with this. Uh, equation y i minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat x i square with respect to dou beta 1 hat equal to 0. So, this is the first order condition or this is the necessary condition for finding out the beta 1 hat. That means the error term with respect to beta 1 hat should be as minimum as possible. That means it should be equal to 0. Okay. Now, you already uh, know how to find out the partial derivative here. With respect to beta 1 hat, so this is beta 1 hat term minus beta 1 hat. So, we can write it as square is there 2 sigma y i minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat x i into minus 1. Minus 1 is the component with regard to beta 1 hat. So, this uh, derivation is with respect to beta 1 hat. So, beta 1 hat is minus 1 into beta 1 hat. This will be equal to 0 or we can write it as minus 2. This minus 1 into 2 minus 2 sigma y i minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat x i equal to 0. Okay. Now we know that minus 2 this is a constant term and uh, this will not be equal to 0. So we are Moving to, uh, we are just avoiding, ignoring this minus 2 component and taking sigma y i minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat x i equal to 0. Or just we can open the bracket sigma y i minus. So beta 1 hat, again beta 1 hat we know it is the intercept term, it is a constant term. So sum of the constant. This can be written as instead of sigma beta 1 hat, we can write it as n beta 1 hat. 
since it is a constant. Okay. So beta one plus beta two plus beta three plus that can be written as n into beta one minus beta two hat sigma x i equal to zero. Okay. So from this equation we can derive an equation for sigma y i equal to moving this to the right side n beta one hat plus beta 2 hat sigma x i. So, this is the equation that we have generated with regard to sigma y i and this is this equation is called first normal equation. So, we are proceeding with the uh, steps for finding out beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. So, e for that we need two normal equations. By using this necessary condition or first order condition, we can find out two normal equations and this one is the first normal equation. Sigma y is equal to n beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat sigma x i.